Melody Hosseini, whose face you may recognize from the Apprentice program, but she's since gone on to found... Uh, do, 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 um, to start this extraordinary, inspiring engage, uh, international organization, which runs skills boot camps, and I've been through one of the boot camps, and it's brutal, but it's really, really great. So welcome, work, Melody, and tell us how you're going to create a billion jobs for you in the next 10 years. Um. Why does the apprentice thing follow me everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> and we actually set up Inspire Engage International way before the apprentice. Just wanted to get that show. Thank you very much for that lovely introduction. It's a pleasure to be here. We are not going to solve the youth unemployment crisis. The reason I say we are not going to solve it is because if you say solve, it means it's a problem. And I actually don't think it's a problem. I'm hearing the figures. I know that there's an issue here. But I see lots of opportunity. I see tons of opportunity. And I think that we need to really change the way we look at something. We need to change the energy with which we go forward and tackle something so that that goes on to young people so that they feel positive and they feel like there are solutions. Because when problems come, comes huge solutions. And actually, the world which, the road that we were going down, the business world which we were going down, needed to change anyway. It wasn't going down a good route. It was getting way too greedy. It was going way down the wrong route. We needed to change. And it could only change through a huge problem as a huge challenge. And I actually see that the other side is going to be way better than we were. So, so that's my first thing, is that actually this is a good thing. I don't see a problem here at all. Um, and we're all, everybody in this room, and I know a lot of you in this room, you are all part of this journey that we're going to be on. And it's you that are going to be really giving that energy and solutions and, and input really to young people to make it happen. Now, I'm going to be super clear and really, really practical. How are we going to create a billion jobs for young people? Lots of things we can do. My answer to this is through social enterprise. Yes, business has been talked about, and Lord Young mentioned it. I want to go one step further than that. Is business is great, create jobs for young people, they can create jobs for themselves. But imagine if you had a business that also improved communities. That is surely even better. And that is what Inspire Engage International is so passionate, passionate about. We are a social enterprise. We want to create social enter enterprises and social entrepreneurs. And I know we've brought with us today young social entrepreneurs who are with, uh, with us here today uh, in our workshop later this afternoon on, on, um, with Unlimited on um, uh, social enterprise. Now, there are three things that are happening at the moment in the world that I think are relevant to why we're driving towards social enterprise. The first thing, and this is in super, super brief, come see me later if we can expand. The first thing is the world is moving away from competitive models and moving to collaborative models, which means what? It means that actually women are very in tune with collaborative models and so are young people, which is why young people and women are leading social enterprises. They are the number one social enterprise and actually social enterprise right now in the UK is the number one job creator for young people. Fabulous. That is absolutely great thing. The second thing that's happening, and we call, uh, Inspiring Age calls it the passion phenomenon, is that a couple of years ago, it was almost embarrassing to say, what are you passionate about? Right now, that's moved away from that. People are talking not only about what they're passionate about, but how can you turn your passion into a career? Again, social enterprise is an answer to that. Something you may have only seen, and I talk from personal experience. I was passionate about working with young people. I became a co-founder of a youth organisation when I was 13 years old, and I did a law degree and thought I had to be a lawyer. And I don't, I know that there are lawyers here, and I'm not looking, uh, I'm not knocking that. I'm just saying, I then turned my passion for what I did voluntarily into a career and I've never looked back and that's where Inspiring Age International came from, so the passion phenomena. And number three is this, when the chips are down, social enterprises are born. That is why I don't think we're having a problem right now and that, that's a great thing. Now here's the solution. How are we going to create a billion jobs? And this is a practical thing. So I was thinking about it and thinking, actually, we do lots of things. We work with businesses, we work with women, but I actually just want to focus for the, for the purposes of answering this question is on education. Inspire Engage International, two, two days ago, when was it, Kate? It was on Tuesday. Tuesday this week, we launched nationally Social Enterprise Revolution. Social Enterprise Revolution basically builds 
social enterprise into the curriculum, not in a boring way, not in a lecture, not as a subject, but actually across the curriculum, so that imagine three things. Imagine young people in the curriculum developing their life skills. I'm not talking straight age students getting great grades in maths and science. Again, I'm not rocking that. What I'm saying is skills like being able to talk to people, being able to go and feel good about yourself. These are life skills that we need to instill. So imagine a curriculum that developed life skills. Imagine a curriculum that allowed you to develop a job while you were still in school, college or university. And finally, imagine if that job also benefited your curriculum. That sort of social enterprise revolution. But for the first time, imagine if that was also part of being assessed in the curriculum. And so I'm really delighted to say that we've got um, Kate Angel from Solihull College and um, Pat, who is from Harrow College, who are pioneers of social enterprise revolution. And that's fantastic. So I think just to close, just to close that, I think that join us. Join the revolution, and I know there are a number of fantastic organisations who are in this room today doing some really, really exciting things, and that is what Inspire Engage is really passionate about, is, is social enterprise. Thank you.